All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be an exciting day. As you can see, we got two beautiful bikes behind me and my good buddy Dotto, who's gonna be riding our 2021 Ducati Panigale V4 SP for the very first time. And you guys are gonna hear all of his reactions in real time. Uh, one of the main reasons why he's riding this is obviously because he hasn't yet. Um, and we like to have <clears throat> before and after feelings before you know, we put all the parts on the bike and make it all crazy. We also still have to put break-in miles on this bike. I think, let's see what we're at here. I don't even know how many we have. Not many, I've been so busy doing other stuff. I haven't even had a chance to really ride this thing. 148 miles is what we got on it, Dotto. So yeah, break-in miles, Dotto's reaction. It's gonna be a hell of a video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Dotto, are you excited to ride this thing finally? Yeah. Uh, I should have worn my stilettos. <laughs> I know. It's high, know. huh? Yeah. It's well, my, like, lower part of my body. I'm not actually that much shorter than you, Jerry. Mm -mm. Like thought, an inch, maybe? Like, before I met you, I thought you were like 9 foot 20. That's what a lot of people say. Paul Bunyan. I, I, I thought you were pretty, you know, pretty tall. But, uh, yeah, my lower half, it's like I'm super short. So when I'm on this thing, I'm tiptoeing. Yeah. But it's all good. Let's get a uh, start up so they can hear the dry clutch. The stock exhaust, which is going to be getting replaced next week, which is exciting. Who's doing that? You are. <laughs> Start up this guy. What? <laughs> what? Huh? I love this thing, dude. Listen to this. I'm sorry, but that just takes the cake, man. You know? It's gonna be interesting to see how this sounds once we get an exhaust on it versus this. Am I Diablo, too? I think they're all gonna sound different. I really yeah, do. I think so, too. But I, I think it's gonna be tough to beat this. You know what I mean? I wanna give it a couple flips real quick. That's ridiculous. All right, let's suit up, get linked up, and head on out. Hold on. All right, Dotto's changing modes on his bike over here, learning how to ride for the first time. Do you get it? I think I'm good now. Yeah, is it in sport? Yep, we're in sport. It right. makes, you, makes you completely close the, uh, close the throttle the whole way, and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I can't change it. Okay, so there's my, there's my first complaint. <laughs> yeah, but it's like that on all, but all Ducatis. I yeah, but I, I want to do it now. I forgot I can't hear anything on this damn bike. <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. Uh, give it a little juice, bud. Nobody's in, around. In <laughs> Yeah, see, I hate that, right? Uh, yeah, on the Monster, I could tell like where I'm at in the RPMs and everything. Yes, because you can you can't hear that bike. Nothing. It's the it's same. It's like silent. The, the I downshifted. I was like, wait, wait, uh, what? Uh, okay. Yeah, right. exactly, dude. The Diablo's the same way. It drives me nuts. Until it's totally screaming, I can't hear the RPM. Nope. God, I forgot how amazing this bike is. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Dude, that hey. dry clutch sounds so good though. I was gonna say, hey, something. Hey, look at who we got here. Hey, it's Teener Wieners. Teener Wieners. All right. Yeah, dude. Oh my God, I love the sound of the dry clutch. Uh huh. I have it pulled in. Look at you tippy toeing and shit. L look, I can't. <laughs> oh man, did you ever think you'd be riding a forty thousand dollar limited edition Ducati? No. Yeah. It's I guess, gonna be. It's I mean, gonna be an eighty thousand dollar bike when we're done. I guess you rode our full carbon V4, so that was like eighty grand or something uh -huh. like that. This so. is very similar, but I will tell you, I think it does sit higher and it's more aggressive. Yep. Yeah, and the body works wider. Obviously, it has more premium parts on it. It's stock form. Uh, the the brakes are insane, Dotto. Do you feel those? Oh yeah. How touchy they are. Which way are we going? Straight. I grabbed the front brake and it was like nose diving. Yeah. Like I think that's the the most insane brakes I've ever felt on any bike. Yep. It's pretty wild. Just just don't listen to it while you're rolling the bike without it running. I told Jared he was yeah. pulling it out of the garage. I'm like, wow, it was dude. Like, er, er, er. Yeah. 
I'm How like, do Ducatis do that? Like the brakes drag? Well, like I think the nicer the brakes are, like race brakes, they uh -huh. make even more noisy, yeah. like ceramic brakes. Like no, my I'm, carbon I'm, ceramics on my uh -huh. R8. Oh yep. my god, they're horrible. Dad, I was like, is there something <laughs> wrong with your bike chair or your car? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, Jared, it sounds like you're, you just dug that bike out of the trash can. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. It did. It did though. Those those uh those dogs really wanted to eat our bikes. Were they barking? Yeah. I was like, hey bro. <laughs> this thing sounds like a mean, mean machine, dude. I can't wait till this thing has an exhaust on it. I know. So we're doing something unique with that bike with the exhaust system. I'm really excited to oh, try it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something What's we've that? never done before. Why don't you tell us, Derek? Okay, well, we're doing a slip-on exhaust first, and we're going to do before and after dyno stuff, and we're going to do a flash and everything as well, and then we're going to do a full-tie exhaust after that, so that you guys can see for cost, is it actually worth it? Well, I guess it's up to you, but like, how much more do you get out of a full system that costs, you know, 5000 6000 versus maybe 2000 or, or 1500 So I think that's really cool. Don't you think, Dotto? Yeah, it's, it, you know, we're doing it not just for the noise and for the sound. We're doing it for performance, weight savings, yep, all yep. that. So, so. We'll, we'll be able to see how much horsepower, how much weight savings, what's the sound like, how does it look, everything. So I think that's going to be really, really cool. God, this fucking, this exhaust, man. This monster is incredibly fun to ride. It gives it, that bike gives a lot of feedback is what I like. It does, dude. Because it reminds me of the, like, even though it does have a lot of features and the technology is really up there, I feel like it's a raw bike yep. when I sit on it and when I ride it, it's so responsive and it just tells you what it wants to do, yep. you know? Yep, you feel everything that's happening. So what's your initial impressions, Dot? I know it's only been a few minutes. Like, how's the, uh, how's the seating position, you know, the handling, the braking? So I have, I'm short, and typically uh, I don't have an issue with, you know, sitting in like a really extreme position because my legs are short, but this actually, it like, it forces you to like lay down, yeah, you know, <laughs> but uh, I feel, I feel like the bike is, I feel like I sit really, really tall on it. Maybe it's because I haven't ridden one of these in a long while. Yeah. I feel like I'm sitting really high up. Um, it feels like it's definitely very tight, you know? Uh -huh. It's very nimble, like, I can move it around, it feels like it doesn't weigh much. However, when you're rolling this bike around, when you're not on it, it does not feel light. No. I, I mean, for what, it, for what it is, don't well, get me was, wrong. It, it, it was almost 450 pounds. Yeah, and then, and then you get on it and ride it, and you're like, wow, does this weigh anything? Yeah, the weight, the weight disappears. Now, we've already shaved, what, six, six, seven pounds off it, eight pounds, something like that? Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't it feel like a razor, a razor blade? Like you feel the everything that's everything, happening. Everything. Yeah. yeah. The brakes are insane. The handling's insane. The suspension's insane. Super smooth. Like you can tell it's it's bred to be as fast as possible around a track. You know. I'm already playing with this brake fade. It's phenomenal. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So it doesn't. It feels like it doesn't change. Um, just by messing around with it a little bit, it doesn't actually change the amount of pressure that it puts on, but it changes the position of the lever. Yeah, exactly. With it, without compromising braking performance, which is phenomenal. That's the idea, right? Because when you're braking around a track, and, the, and you have to keep pulling it in more and more and more to get the same amount of feel, now you can let it out, and then it keeps it from like basically getting stuck against the bar, you know? Let it all out, girl. <laughs> let it all out, baby. It's crazy to think we're giving both these bikes away. You know, like this monster is probably 40 grand as it sits right now and we're about halfway done with it. The Panigale started out at 40 grand and that thing's gonna be probably 80 grand when we're done with it, so. When you told me you decided to give this thing away, I thought you were joking. I know. I had some second thoughts, I still do. But <laughs> Too late. At least we get to live with it for a few months, you know. And then we'll just get something else badass, so it's, it's, it's all good. But yeah. I told Jared, I'm, look at my feet. Yeah, see, that's the that's the sketchy part of that. Of I that feel part. like a feel like a little dude on it, you know. Like, uh -huh. hey. But yeah, if you guys want to be entered to win either one of these bikes, Patreon.com/slash/CampPZCustoms. That's also how you help support the projects, so that we can continue to even do stuff like this. I thought you were going, and I was like, what the hell are you doing? Nope. <laughs> Just dangling my feet over here. Just doing the old dangle.
I think I'm good. All right. God, I love this. Very smooth. I will say, um, as far as the gearbox on all three motorcycles, comparing like the Monster, the Avil, the Avil, and this, um, I <laughs> that I, one. I believe that the Monster has the the most feedback. It's it's, it's the hardest. The, clunk, you know, when it, the clunkiest. When, the clunkiest, yeah. Um, that's ex you know, it accepted. Uh, it's expected. I'm sorry. Yeah. And um, the the Avo, I want to say, comes in second. Yes. I haven't I haven't ridden this too much, but it's butter smooth. Like it's you so smooth. It in the gear and you don't maybe because I can't even hear it. Yeah. But uh, no, it's really smooth. That is it's one of the smoothest quick shifters I've ever used on like any I, bike. Like like I just downshifted. Yeah. And I'm upshifting. Yeah. And it's downshift again. Nothing. Yeah, if you do that, if you do that on the monster with one hand, you gotta you gotta be careful. It's like holding on to a bucking bronco. <laughs> yep. God, I love the sound of this. This monster, man, it really has a place in my heart. Yeah, it's definitely one of a kind bike, man. Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna go straight. If straight. I can touch the ground here, uh, looks like we're good. Clutch takes a little bit getting used to. Yeah, I. It almost like. <laughs> yeah, the what, what were we gonna say? The clutch almost feels like it starts to let out and then it stops again and then you have to let it out even further. It's kind of weird, but honestly that's part of the bike that will break in. I remember that was an issue with the Street Fighter too. Yeah, it, 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 it'll it'll get a little bit. Yeah, the, but I mean it's it's still breaking in. It's a brand new bike, so everything's still gonna feel a little bit weird. You know, what I, when I first seen this bike and I looked at the seat, especially knowing that this thing is pretty much track ready, right? Yeah. I thought the seat was going to be like a piece of tin, you know? Like, it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Maybe that's why I'm like seven feet up in the air. <laughs> yeah. The, or at least it feels that way. Dude, the S1000 seat was way worse. Way worse than that. Yeah, I hear a lot of people complaining about the S1000 seats being very uncomfortable for yes. like, just going out on a couple of mile cruise, you yeah, know? It, the, the M package comes with a seat, a race seat, and it's awful. And then I even got the comfort seat, and it still was terrible. All right. Woo! Oh, my God. Dude, this thing wants to lift up the front wheel every time you give it throttle. That's what I like about it. Oh, God. How's the, uh, how's the heat on that? Awful. <laughs> um, I think it's because I haven't ridden one of these in a while, and I forget just how bad the stock exhaust and... You know, the heat shielding and everything is. They try to channel a lot of the the cooling, you can tell, with the design of the plastics and yes, how, how things are located. But you got to remember, these things produce a lot of heat and everything is tight. Yep. So, you, you know, know there's, you know there's not much place for that heat to go, but on your legs. The crazy thing is, Dotto, that that bike is hot. There's just no way around it. Now, it is 80 degrees outside, so whatever, but... Um, as long as you're moving, it's manageable, and, oh, yeah. and, and the, the stock exhaust and the stock tune definitely makes it worse, because with the Street Fighter, when we put on the full Acura system and the Flash, it got noticeably cooler. I think about 10 to 15 degrees cooler. Same thing with the Panigale V2, so I'm guessing that the, the heat on that will come down a little bit once we get a even a slip on a tune, I think. Did you want to get the thermometer out again and just see? What the difference uh, is? Yeah, so when we did the uh, the V2. We're turning here, by okay. the way. The V2 actually still has a, a, an actual temperature on the gauge. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's an AMG GTC or GTS, one of the two. That's sick. God, I love those cars. They have some crazy colors. Anyways, keep talking. Um, yeah, the V2 Panigale. <laughs> Woo! Isn't it crazy, Dotto, how fast you can go on that bike and how easy it is? Like, how effortless? Yeah, and I was telling Jared earlier, this thing, like, rides itself. It's so effortless, yeah, you know? it really does. Um, go ahead. The Panigale V2, we did a before and after. Or no, you know what we did? We took a stock Panigale and went out riding with my fully modded V2. And the V2, fully modded, ran about 12 to 15 degrees cooler. That's crazy. I mean, yep. that's, a, that's an insane amount considering 
these engines are designed to run at, you know... Specific temperatures. Exactly. Your yep. peak performance isn't going to be when a thing is really cold or extremely hot. It's going to be wherever, you know, I, for this one I don't know, but there is a peak performance. I mean, there's a lot of things that change that. Barometric pressure, atmospheric temperature, yes. you know, sea level, all yep. that stuff. But still, uh, just because your bike runs super cool doesn't mean it's, it's in its optimum, you know, performance. That's so. true. All right, let's go lefty. Lefty Lucy? Yeah. Right. You know where we're at? Yes. Maybe. Okay. Lady, are you going to go? Or? It's a guy. Uh, Surprisingly. Okay. <laughs> All right, lady, you going to go? or? <laughs> I love this monster. I was telling Dotto the other day when I was riding that, and the SP, like the very beginning, now it was breaking in, and I was riding it slow. It was really hot. I told him I'd rather be on the monster for like the whole ride. And I, I still do kind of stand by that. The SP and sport bikes in general, it's all about that 30 seconds of fun when you go out riding. So it's few and far between, whereas like the monster, it's a lot more comfortable and just like the little, like just that's fun right there, you know? Just downshifting is fun. I think that uh, whoever ends up winning this, you lucky son of a bitch, um, <laughs> they're gonna have awesome performance on the street. Uh, if they track the bike, they're gonna absolutely that's, love it. Yep. And then if they don't track the bike, I hope they get out on the track with it because yeah. I can only imagine what oh, this thing can do, you know? I know? And people keep telling us, guys, you should go out on the track and take the bikes out. Uh, First of all, these are technically not not yours, you right. know. Yeah. It's like they, they it belongs to. We baby them, basically. Yeah. 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 We don't baby them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, we don't want to wreck this thing at the track. And nope. most insurance companies don't cover nope. uh, track days, you know. Exactly. So you're shit out of luck. You wreck this thing. It's, it's even if you could replace all the pants. I mean, you can't because it's you, one one yeah. of a kind. But yeah. you can buy parts, but it'll be in. You know, you don't. Nobody wants a wrecked bike. No. So. Look at this guy, the Sports Emporium, Carlisle. I used to rip go-karts around that thing so fast. Not really. But yeah, we used to play laser tag there. Video games, I remember playing Mortal Kombat in there on the arcade machines. Good times, dude. And right up here, there's, a, there's an adult store on the corner. It's perfect. Mature fantasy, you wanna stop? <laughs> How is this still open, dude? Oh my god, the internet should have put that out of business so long ago. <laughs> Who the hell's going and renting like fucking porn anymore? Well, no, I think they sell like dildos and stuff. Oh, okay. I'd still rather buy those online than go like Amazon Prime. Somewhere. Come on, man. <laughs> I, want, I need my double sided marital aid, please. I was telling Dotto that the, the new Panigales have cylinder deactivation. So when you're in neutral at a stoplight, it'll cut the front two cylinders to try to keep the heat down. See if you can feel it, Dotto. When you pull in the clutch, it should cut them, and then as you let it out and it starts to engage, it'll turn them. Actually, you can see the RPMs drop. Yeah, you can see, you can feel it too, right? Uh huh. Yeah, isn't that it, weird? It's almost like the vibration gets a little bit less. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when you uh -huh. pull it in, but it, it takes a couple of seconds. It does, and it feels like a twin again. Mm -hmm. You know, which is kind of cool. You can turn your V4 into a twin. Throwback to Ducati, but it doesn't help with the heat, does it? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> so I was telling Jared. I was riding one day, I was on my R1, I was by myself, coming the other way here past this golf course, and I see this like thing bouncing on the road, and <laughs> it didn't even hit me right away, figuratively speaking, and I almost got hit by a golf ball. And then it happened again, and I look over, I don't know if they were drinking or not, but they were launching golf balls right at me in the road. Unbelievable. I know, I thought it was kind of funny actually, but <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get hit, but I just... It was kind of funny, I'm like, what is that? It's like, boing, boing. <laughs> it is really close to the road for some reason. Uh-huh. I actually like this road back here. And there's no knitting, so like, I wonder if those people in those houses get pelted, you know? Yeah, that just seems odd. Here you go, now you can feel some turns. Ooh. Okay. See? I need a little bit more seat time on it. Yeah. To, to actually like lay into it, you know? The thing is, is you'll, you'll overturn like, that's why I'm skeptical because it's not like it's so weird bouncing back before. What do we got? Three, four yeah, bikes to uh -huh. go back between those. Between yours Every and mine. Every time I get a different one, I, I told Jared, I'm like, I need a little bit of seat time before I go hammer time on this uh -huh. thing. You know? Hammer time. <laughs>
monster. That actually on that one, when I turn on that one, Dotto, I always hit the apex too early. That's why I was like, <laughs> if I get off the seat anymore prematurely, up. Uh, what are these people doing here? I have no idea. I guess they're walking. <laughs> I don't know. Cute I little thought, lady. <laughs> I was like, are they gonna walk across? No, I might like they'd run in front of me. Yeah. Just like every other animal. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that smells good. So I'm in sport mode, but I realized I started changing the every single um, feature right. on the right hand side. So like the, the dynamic rider traction rates. control, yeah. Look at this really guy with this guy, this guy with his diesel. He has a stack sticking out of that. What is that? Like a homemade pickup truck? No, I told him it looks like he has a smoker in the back. So this has, you can go through every single um, electronic control, wheelie and control, control, on the control fly. and change like one through five, one I through seven. I didn't even know you could do that. See, you learned something new, Jerk. I never even screwed around with that. I accidentally hit that button and I'm looking down. I'm like, wait a second. Wheelie control was on seven. Put that bitch on one. <laughs> Oh God, great. He's like, Dotto, get off my bike. <laughs> I, I wonder if I can change this too. Oh my God. How's that feel, Dotto? Pretty decent, actually. I don't know why it changed on here besides the wheelie control, but this thing is like awake now. Yeah, that's it definitely gonna. Good. Yeah, that's gonna neuter it for sure. <laughs> oh no! No, it feels really good. What's wrong? Traffic. Uh, it'll clear up. Yeah, dude. So, so another thing with this bike, since I'm doing like my first ride, I, I told Jared I'm like literally every 15, 20 minutes into riding, I feel more comfortable on yeah. it. But, but the bike is so easy. It's probably the easiest motorcycle that I've ever ridden. Yeah, it, super smooth. Like, you know just getting on it and, and going uh -huh. doesn't oh. take long the only thing that's gonna suck is going from dry clutch to like my r1 you know <laughs> the dude doesn't the dry clutch it's easy to use like i thought it would be look at that view guys Woo! that's epic um i thought the dry clutch was going to be a lot heavier to pull in and stuff it's it's easy mm -hmm. I, I think because i mean you gotta think bikes back in the day a lot different. The technology was not there, you know, now yeah. it's completely different and we have hydraulic instead of cable, we have wet versus dry on most bikes. Yep. Um, That's your first dry clutch, isn't it, Dotto? Um, a riding one or, a, you know. A riding one, yeah. Um, I've ridden the older Ducatis with dry clutches that were insanely loud. Oh, you have ridden the older ones? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, you know where we're going. Yep, I do. But isn't it incredible how easy that bike is in traffic? Super easy. Yeah, aside from the heat. <laughs> Actually, the one thing I like about this clutch, besides the noises it makes, <laughs> is uh, is how easy it is to ride in, in heavy traffic. It's not it's not awful hard to, for being pretty much a race bike. Yep. It's not hard to depress the clutch, and it's actually very smooth at low speed yep that's now taking said. off at a stop sign i'm still getting used to it yeah yeah pulling out yeah nobody likes pulling out <laughs> no. dude it feels good back here a lot a little bit cooler uh-huh because it's shady oh man this feels good i love these roads man i do too this i don't know why we go anywhere else. i know we always come back to the same ones all right so we finally got away from some traffic beautiful back roads with some nice tree canopy. Now, it did rain pretty hard yesterday, so the roads are still a little bit dirty. You can tell. So we have to be a little bit careful. God. But we're starting to be able to open up a little bit here. We got some nice twisties. I love this freaking road. I don't know if it's like the best road for the SP, because it's like low speed twisties, but it's really fun. It's nice. I love this area where it's shaded. Uh-huh really nice it feels like our own little personal racetrack <laughs> you know i always tell jared when we're riding i'm like man these people must love it back here it's so peaceful until we come around on a monster you know <laughs> i know wait until all of our bikes have nice exhausts on them dude wait till they, wait till all three of them do uh-huh i'm excited for that I love this 
this road. Woo! <laughs> I got air there. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely Just have to be, be careful. Be careful the uh, gravel here. Yep. Well, I know the braking system won't fail me on this. Jesus Christ. Yeah, isn't it, isn't it incredible? I told you, dude. It's ridiculous. Uh-huh. It can I get like, you. I look down at the lever and the bike stops. It's like, Jesus, I didn't even touch it. Oh, it's a one finger, like gentle one finger pull. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, this, this turn here is like a two mile an hour turn. And this is really dirty right here. Mm -hmm. I can see your tire change color. <laughs> so be careful. Yeah, look at these turns. My God. You know, you always have it in the super view, and it, like, it looks like we're taking like girly turns, you know? Oh, and they're these... like 90 degree or sharper, you know? Oh, yeah, all of these are. All right, so these are some of our favorite turns here. We had to pull over and wait for some cars to get out, get out of here. But I want, I really want Dotto to feel this bike. Woo! Oh, I love these turns, dude. I'm still a little skeptical. Yeah, this everything's a little bit dirty too. Remember the deer here? Oh yeah, this is where the deer was, right? Yep. What view do you use on your GoPro when you record it? A super view? 1080 super view, yeah. Oh my god, Ooh. that was a lot of freaking... <laughs> that's like, like a, a rear pile end of dance. dirt in the middle of the road. That was there last time, I should have remembered that. Yeah. But the rear end on there just danced a little. But yeah, I use 1080 by 60 with super view. Which is why I can be really close to you, and on, on footage it doesn't look like it. God, I you're know. throwing so many rocks at me. <laughs> are, you like, are you like, dude, people always say, like, you guys aren't taking any turns. We're like, bro, we're literally doing 90-degree yeah. sharp turns, no, we, you know? we, we ride pretty hard. And actually... Dotto and I ride so hard that my dad got kicked out of our riding group. <laughs> He kept he kept being too far behind, and then he would get kicked out of our Senna group, and then it would screw up my audio for filming. But it's very really nice because we'll be riding, and I start hearing like the popcorn noise, and I slow down because I'm like, well, yeah. we got a rider back there. Uh huh. So, which I mean, I don't care about ride like that, but it's just for my videos, it screws them up. Yeah, true. Look at this, guys. I feel like we've went make maybe a hundred miles. This thing was at full when I left, and the monsters had a gas already. <laughs> This thing eats gas. Well, it's probably because all I do is upshift and downshift constantly and let it crackle. So I really have no one to blame except myself. How you feel back there? You got your sausages nice and roasted? Oh, dude, I can't <laughs> feel my left butt cheek right now. Dude, the front of this bike looks incredible when you're riding behind me. It's awesome, Oh, yeah. God. All right, we're going to fill up the bikes, then we'll go home and do the sign-out. All right, we made it home safe and sound. And uh, I just I can't get over how good the monster is. Like, it's such a fun bike to ride, man. Don't get me wrong, this is obviously a whole different league, the SP. Um, but it's just the fun factor on that Monster is just so good, especially for just back road chilling, you know, little on and off throttles. Anyway, video's not about that. Video is about this guy and this bike. What are your thoughts, Dotto? Uh, so, I know I'm gonna repeat some stuff. Uh -huh. um, first thing is the dry clutch. Definitely yeah. different than you know what clutch setup yeah it feels still very weird one it's not broken in yet yeah completely and two taking off at stops like stop signs and red lights is still a little finicky like you'll have to let it yes. out almost completely that's and then the, you feel it like hesitate that's the only time i notice a difference yeah and i've yeah. ridden dry clutch motorcycles before however they were all broken in mm -hmm. so and they were older anyways. yeah but it, the, the dry clutch is definitely something noticeable mm -hmm. second thing phenomenal braking oh my god i mean out of this world it's... probably one of the best braking motorcycles that i've ridden okay i said the same thing mm -hmm. yeah right and you adjusted this this was even yeah. less play yeah, yeah. so that, i'm actually glad that you did that that needed adjusted well, my little sausage finger <laughs> yeah no it was just too grabby before uh -huh. it did barely moved so rider position mm -hmm. next so i felt like i was in a very extreme <laughs> riding position like very extreme yeah. uh -huh. also when I'm sitting on it, I'm tiptoeing. Yeah. So you have to be really careful. Which is crazy because he rode his uh, R1. R1 over here, and that's way a lot more comfortable, huh? Way comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is really like a track bike. Track bikes, like track super bike. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> it's really actually it rides too good in corners so yes. all the other bikes that i ride they're either too heavy the suspension is not as advanced or it's just like this thing going in turns i'm catching myself going into the turn too, too early, early. Like, Whoa, what the? i do you the know, same just, thing like, you just throw it in there uh -huh. you know and then like yeah. you go a little bit faster you're like it's fine then you go into the turn it's like okay, it keeps still pulling doing it. Yeah, yeah it keeps pulling because of that re so. that counter rotating counter crank rotating yeah shaft. yep yeah uh what else it feels super light so when yes, you're pushing the bike around it feels like you're trying to push a sleeping elephant mm -hmm. it's kind of top heavy yeah yeah but yeah. you start riding it and all of a sudden disappears it's nothing yeah yep. so that's that's, that's probably the carbon wheels yeah now the bad things about the bike I would say one, honestly, the height. I don't feel comfortable the height. with as slow speeds. Yep. So like, I'm, you know, for me, if I flat foot a bike, I feel phenomenal. You yep. know, as, as far yep. as just being Even like the ball, like being able to get half your foot down, because mm -hmm. I can't flat foot this either. Yeah. Uh, the heat. The heat. It's extremely hot. It's a problem. Yeah. I mean, it's a known problem, but this yep. thing is like roasting. I think that that will be fixed when we get an exhaust and a tune on here. So we'll, we we'll doing, come uh, we'll come back to that. Heat, heat shielding, shielding? Yes, yeah. I have heat shielding as well. anything with coolant at all? We can, we can, yeah. We'll look what I want to do first is exhaust, tune, heat shielding with the exhaust, and then see how it is, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I thought it was really cool with the, with the, uh, how it shuts off the, the cylinders at a red light. The deactivation. The deactivation yeah. was definitely cool. I love the fact that, and apparently Jared didn't notice either. Yeah. But you can actually, I don't know if he'll do it now. Yeah. So I'm in, yeah, I'm in sport it. mode, and I thought they were preset already. They are. So it gives you defaults. Yeah. Right now it's in street. I put it in street. Yeah. Okay. So if you if you look on the right hand uh -huh. side there, there's yep, I can see it. electronic braking control, yep. and then if you hit select, it actually lets you change them. Look. Oh wow. So that's slide yeah. control. That yeah. only has one. Oh, yeah. wheelie control. There How about go. this? How about yeah. we just crank her down a little? You know. And then just that that yeah. easy. That's yeah. probably the easiest motorcycle on the market. So as now far you're as changing you're on riding the fly. With a, basically a street map with the settings, whatever you want. Now that's really cool. I don't. Let's see if it changes when you shut it off. If it keeps. It. That's a good point. I know you can go back in and just go to default. Yeah. But and change them back to default. Yeah, but I'm saying let's see. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. If it keeps saying. your settings. Yeah, that's another thing. So let's see. What does you have it on? Oh, it's, it keeps it. It keeps it. Yeah. That's so, actually really cool. All right, cool. So that's yeah. one thing I didn't know myself. Uh -huh. Um Yeah, you can change these. It's later. a super advanced bike. Like it's, <laughs> it is. It's ridiculous. I was just going down the road, just hitting every button. I'm like, Hey, Jared, look at this. He's hey, like, What? I don't know if I showed you this, Otto. What? Sorry to cut you off here, but no, check no, this out. No, no. If you go into settings and you go into ride mode. Mm -hmm. And you go into I don't know, just let's just say street, and you go into this is electronic suspension. You can set it on fixed suspension, by the way. You can do dynamic suspension, or you can modify the suspension. Look at that, custom fixed, custom dynamic. Go into one of those. Look, so look, if you go into custom dynamic, mm -hmm. these are all different areas. Look at that, where you can adjust. Say like mid corner for example, and look what it says. Do you want more grip or more stability? Mid corner. If you want more more stability, you just dial up more stability. That's insane. And it only adjusts mid corner, not anything else. Isn't that crazy? How it has all these parameters. For acceleration, for example, same thing. Grip, stability, um, steering damping. Or actually, let's go sh let's go uh, brake support. This is pretty cool. Look, performance it, or comfort. It's cool. This has uh, electronic steering. Yep, damper. even the yeah, even the damper. Isn't that crazy though? How advanced that is, and how easy it is. It makes so much sense. Like fork support. Look under. Brake stability, look. Forks are 10 grand, you know. Oh, dude, it's, it's just, I think that's really cool. Now, it's not something I would really screw around with personally, because I think that's more like for the track kind of stuff. But if you're someone who is really picky about your riding and you're, well, you, you know exactly what you want it to do and when, Jerry, like. You got to think too, you get on the bike versus me. Like, that's a huge weight difference. That's true. How much, how much do you weigh? I'm like 180. Yeah, and I'm like 235 right now. So that's, you got to <laughs> think this is That's 50-some, you're yeah. right, yeah. So you want, to, you want it set up for your weight. I love it. So yeah, so it's good that Dotto got the, the whole point of this was to get Dotto's feedback on a stock bike, on the bike in stock form before we do anything crazy performance wise and weight savings wise. That way, whenever we do ride the bike with the new parts, we can give you guys feedback and th thoughts on how good they are and how much of a difference they make. And if they're worth the money or not worth the money really is ultimately what it comes down to. So. Yeah, I think that's it. There's Dotto's initial thoughts and feelings, very similar to mine, almost identical, which is nice because I feel like sometimes people think I'm just blowing smoke, well, you know? You <laughs> There's Tina Wieners, by the way, she's hanging out. She got her hair cut today. She looks beautiful, look at her. 
Tell her how gorgeous she is in the comment section below. But yeah, that's it. There's our two giveaway bikes right now. Don't forget, guys, if you want to help support these projects and be entered to win one of our beautiful custom Ducatis, patreon.com slash Customs. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know which bike is your favorite, which one you would take. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.